Okay, so tell us a little bit about your pod. So right now, uh, we have what we have here is a micro pod, uh, which is a smaller version of what everybody else is doing. So this is basically what we do. We want to make what is the minimum uh, viable feature for the Hyperloop prototype. And uh, we designed this from the beginning, where we have to consider how to even ship to America. So we want to build it as compact as possible, so it can fit in the luggage, and then we can bring it to uh, America with us through airline. Yes. So you brought this with you on the airplane? Yes, yes. yes. What, uh, did they ask any questions about it in, in the airport? Is it hard to get through? Well, actually not so much. Uh, we, of course, we understand all the regulations. The batteries, uh, uh, the magnets are properly contained, and then the wirings are all off. So when they check it, they get totally no problem with that. So um, what, what sort of responses have you gotten from other teams when they have these 15-foot pods, and yours is how, what, yeah. three feet, two yeah. and a half? The small one. Well, first of all, they were jealous <laughs> because they need like a team of people to even carry it, or even need a crane. For us, we just need two people, or even one people we can carry this. Well, uh, for us, it is a little bit different. Why we want to make it small? Because we want to have an uh, iterative design. So we want to be able to change very quickly uh, because this is a new concept. And uh, if we make it too too complex. If you want to change something, it involves a lot of manpower and a lot of money. So uh, this one, we can just we make we make all the units modular. If you want to add more uh, propulsion, then we add more units. We want to change our battery, we can just swap it. If you want different kind of brakes, we can just swap it. So it's more like a, a proof of concept or the we call the MVP, the minimum viable prototype. Yeah.